Right, I'm going to try and remember to record this time. In this mission, you will learn to pilot your plane on the edge. The mission has four main parts. In the first part, you'll have to fly at the lowest possible altitude through the checkpoints. Flying this low is a dangerous task, but fighter pilot, but fighter pilots have to learn it and be familiar with the danger. It might happen that this low flying skill will save your life and will cost a lift to your enemy. Maybe a few typos in there. Watch your attitude. Altitude. That was my typo. Before moving to the second part, first you have to rapidly climb. Remember the minimum airspeed. Don't pull the stick too hard. Right after reaching the checkpoint, fully remove the throttle and push the stick sharply from you. You are going to dive steeply. Here you will feel speed and durability qualities of your plane. Be careful. If the speed or g-forces during pull-up are too high, the plane might disintegrate. Speaking about life, steep dive can be either a part of an engagement maneuver in case of a ground target, for example, or one of the general ways of leaving, of leaving a dogfight. It works extremely good with your spad. It dives so fast. In the third part, low speed flight. Try to keep up altitude. If you feel the plane is falling, add some power. This exercise will help you fill the plane at low speeds, which is very important in dogfights and during takeoff and landings. And finally, the fourth part, stall. You have to be able to perform it whenever you want, not when your plane does. Full control is your main target. Your main task, flying on the edge. Good luck. Oh my gosh. John. I didn't expect you to be such a quick learner. You get everything just as fast as I did in my time. I'm Thanks. very pleased with your results. Thank, Thank you. you, Captain. Well, as you gain so fast, I've prepared something much more interesting for you than checkpoint flight and moving some handles. I can't wait to continue. Our next task is operating restrictions. <laughs> I know it might sound too boring, but remember, John, not only your life and safety of a plane, but also your combat success directly depends on your understanding of what I'm about to tell you today. The closer you can come to the limits of your SPAD capabilities, the more advantage you'll get over your enemy in combat. Roger. An airplane is the most advanced combat unit that is engaged in this war, John. SPAD-13 that you're learning to operate is the top of technological progress. As any other machine, the airplane has restrictions. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. First, a couple of words about why an airplane flies. An airplane can fly thanks to the lifting force generated by its wings. The lifting force happens only when the airflow comes towards its wings. That's why, as I told you, speed is most important. But besides, the plane cannot keep flying when the speed is below 90 kilometers an hour. And it also cannot maintain speeds higher than 350 kilometers an hour. When you overcome this limit, the plane structure won't be able to hold the pressure of the airflow and will fall apart. The plane will lose the ability to perform a controllable flight. So pay special attention to your speed while diving. Don't accelerate past 350 kilometers an hour. Also, if you pull the stick too much while at high speed, the lifting force of its wings may become too big so the pilot will be pushed into his seat and he'll have trouble breathing. Wings might not sustain such a load and collapse, so don't let high G's in maneuvers. On the other hand, if you push the stick too far so that the pilot will be thrown out of his cockpit, if not for the seatbelt, then the fuel won't be flowing to the engine from the fuel tank and the engine will stop. Really? If during an energetic maneuver or normal flight you lose speed, you've got another problem waiting for you. The plane won't have enough lifting force and will stall and fall into a spin. A spin means falling of a plane in spiral, uncontrollable rotation. At low altitudes, this will result in death. But if you have enough altitude, then you have a chance. Push the control stick fully from you and in the direction of the rotation. Fully press the pedal opposite to the rotation direction. In a few spiral turns, the plane will start reacting to the controls. Lower its nose and stop rotating. After that, you can start pulling out of the dive. But don't hurry with it as you can stall again. Mm -hmm. The other important thing you have to watch all the time is the altitude. 
If you lose the altitude until it becomes zero, and it wasn't meant to be a landing, the results of this achievement will most probably be observed not by you, but by the funeral team. However, there exists also a high altitude limit. You cannot fly above it. It's called practical ceiling. At high altitudes, the air is colder and rarefied. Cold and low pressure not only cause a man great discomfort, but they also badly influence the work of the engine. It loses power and can choke until it stops. Now, let's repeat the main dangers that are awaiting you, Lieutenant. Keep the airspeed between 90 and 350 kilometers an hour. Don't let high G turns. Don't turn your plane upside down so that the fuel cannot reach the engine. What you have to do in this mission is take off and climb to 800 meters, then dive How many and reach speed close to maximum. But watch carefully not to exceed it. After that, energetically with a high G, pull the plane into a climb so that you can hear your wings buzz but not break. Climb to exactly what you just again. told me not at to do. At this altitude, okay. completely lower the throttle and try to hold the plane at this altitude without descent. Then it's going to lose speed and stall. After you pull out of the spin, return to the airfield and land. That's all. That's all. John, I know there's a lot of information and this mission is rather complicated. Yeah. But considering your previous success, I have no doubt whatsoever you'll accomplish this one. My no. hints will help you in flight. Good luck. Confidence is key, apparently. Let's make this happen. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Just a little bit. A teeny tiny little bit. Oh, nice. 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 Rapid climb. Rapid dive. And then what? Slow flight. Yeah. <clears throat> At minimum speed. What's the minimum speed? 80. And then, and then stall it. Oh my gosh. That is a lot. That is a lot. Okay, right. So, get my camera in the right position. Can actually see what's going on. Let's uh, throttle, open a smidge, get the engine started, start recording. Now, I can't actually see my first marker anywhere, so let's get up into the sky and figure it out from there. Oh great, this tent's right in front of me. Come on, little bird. Up, 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 up. That's 80. Oh, hang on. I see the map. I see an arrow. The arrow is telling me to go this way. Have I got to hit this red dot first? Okay. We're heading this way. Pretty sure my head tracking is just given out. Oh, that's perfect timing. Okay, don't crash the plane. I'm just going to swap my head out for another one. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we're, good. we're all good, we are all good, everything's under control again, right, what speed have we got here, 160, oh, fast, very fast, 200, uh, we said 350 was the maximum speed we could do, but uh, we don't even have that on the... Uh, airspeed indicator, so, uh... Oh, I see the... I see it! I see the first marker! Oh, this is gonna be fun! This is gonna be fun! 
Now that's going to be a really tight turn. Alright, let's power off and drop in. Wow, that was fun. This is so cool. Oh, I feel like I'm really close to those trees. I think I am. Pretty scary stuff. Oh. Slightly out of control of the aircraft there. Doing 200. It's not bad speed. Gives me a bit of confidence. Oh, I nearly missed that one. Bloody hell. Alright, let's get close to those trees but not hit them. Alright, that's perfect. Let's gain a bit of altitude so that we can come down a little bit. Gain a bit of speed. Nice. I'm gonna pop it back up. Come down again. <clears throat> There's a bridge there. What do I do with the bridge? Go under it, over it? Oh, I don't. I turn left and go up. Okay. And up we go. Alrighty. Where is this checkpoint? Oh my god. All the way out there. Okay, we're maintaining 140 at the moment. 140 is good. We can work with 140. I knew it. As soon as I lift the nose up though, we start dropping speed. So what speed can we hold here? We've got to stay above 90. Oh dear. That's 120 and we are really struggling to hold that. Oh no, it's still coming down. Oh wow, this is a this is a tough climb. One ten. One five. Oh come on, come on, come on, playing. We're not gonna make it. We're at 90, we're going to stall. We're at 80, we should have stalled already. There's the stall. Oh, wow. Didn't make it. Oh, God, no. How the bloody hell am I supposed to do that then? Where is it? Okay, we'll get it this time. frustrating was that? We were like 10 feet away from doing it. <clears throat> okay, so let's hope we're going straight down. Engine off. Not engine off. God no. Throttle off. 
And here we go. Like a roller coaster. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Wow, that was fun. I didn't even bother looking to see what speed we were doing. I should have done. Full throttle. Understood. There must be a way to turn these red numbers off. Okay, so I guess we're gaining a bit of altitude so that we've got space to do the uh, stall. Tachometer. I really don't know. Right, let's get that bit of height that we need. I want to come into this slow flight as high as possible, just in case. So I've got to try and get this sort of round about 90. Or is it okay with me doing 110, 105? Seems okay at the moment. Get ready to stall, he says. Wow, we lost some speed there really quickly. And now we're at 90. Oh my god! Did I do it? No! I said I was too low! God damn it! I must have missed that by a flipping millimetre. I'm going to get failed for this for sure. That's two markers I've missed. Waiting for the stall. I don't know how we're still going so fast. Let's bring the nose up. I fear if I don't get into a stall soon, we're going to get failed. There it comes. There it comes. <coughs> that wasn't much of a stall. Come on. Give me a stall, give me a stall. That looks like a stall. I didn't perform a stall. What the bloody hell was that then? That sure as hell felt like a stall.
Ah, turn around and try again. Okay, well at least uh, we got some direction on what to do. That was that was a stall. That was definitely a stall. It wants me to do a power off stall. Maybe I just put the power on too early. Maybe stalled again then. Wow, climbing in these things is is hard work. That map is right in the way of my airspeed indicator. Right, we're doing 90, which is, you know, as we know, the bare, 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 bare minimum. In fact, we're less than 90 on some occasions. So let's come straight through the green, and then we'll power off. I don't know what kind of a, a stall he's expecting, but power off just keep the right pedal fully pressed is that not a stall thank you okay so they really, really wanted me to stall, like massive stall. That's interesting. Okay, now I can return to base. Woo! Imagine doing that for real. For real Z's. So is there a particular direction that I have to land in, or can I just land anywhere I like? Kind of looks like I need to go down the end, turn around and come back. Which we can do, which we can do. Oh, I thought it had failed me. Oh, please say it hasn't failed me. How, how could I have got back to the airport that quickly? Lieutenant, it sometimes seems to me that I'm just wasting my time on you. Oh, you're joking. You failed. You have a good chance to improve. Repeat the mission, but this time, do it right. You're having a bubble bath. Start the old recording. And let's, let's roll, baby. We're already at maximum throttle for some reason. Because I was in the air when they failed me, that's why. I cannot believe they failed me. I am so peeved. I'm going to do it like a legend today. No more than 15 minutes to complete the exercise. That's, that's where I went wrong. Alright, well let's not mess about. Let's go straight to the river. I'm not even going to drop the throttle this time, I'm just going to hit it full speed. We won't hit 350, not in this plane. Let's see if we can get some extra speed. See, we can't do it. 
This is the attitude I need to hold, and when I hold this attitude, the speed drops. We're going to be well below what we need way before we get there. Maybe a little bit of level flight, get the speed back up again. Get ready to dive. We've got to climb first. We're not going to make it. This poor little plane cannot climb this, this speed. Look at that, 100. Oh, come on, limp over. 98, 95, that's 90. Just clear it, clear it. Touch it with your nose. No, we missed it. Oh, my good God. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, don't tell me I missed it again. Oh, my good God. I cannot believe my inability to hit that bloody thing. How much time has that cost me? Keep the throttle on for a second. The throttle died. Just like he said it would. That was pretty cool. So I threw it over so fast. That we actually lost the throttle. That was pretty cool. I didn't know that even was included in this game. It's a very good. Very good game. Right, we know exactly what we're doing this time. We're not going to lose all that time on the uh, on the stall. We're just going to go for a full stall. Okay, so I think this is the beginning of the slow flight thingy. We'll find out in a second. Oh, I'm going off at the wrong tangent. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad. Now I've got to do low and slow whilst doing flipping acrobatics. Come on plane, come on plane. This is definitely slow. I don't want any arguments from anyone. It's slow. I just want to get over that green lip. It's very important. You are absolutely kidding me. I did it again. Well, I'm at stall speed. Ah! Oh, fan bloody tastic. We got into a stall early. Totally balls that up. Surely they're going to give me my stall for that. That was a real stall. Just realised there's a clock in the bottom left hand corner. I bet 15 minutes is when it gets to 9, isn't it? So we've got like 3 minutes to turn this about. Come on playing, just... Turn into a Spitfire for a minute, I need you. Couldn't get any bloody closer to, to doing it without actually doing it. And that, sh that should earn me some sort of reward. Like an extra minute. We've basically got 45 seconds to do this. Unbelievable. Go in the middle, not in the green. The green doesn't count, apparently. got one minute I think. Do we have one minute? I think we have one minute to get down. I'm tempted just to put it in any bloody field. Screw the uh, screw the runway. Anywhere will do right now. No, 
no, there's no way we're going to make it. Twenty-five seconds. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no! <laughs> I was looking at the clock. <sighs> Shish kabang. I'm going to actually take off towards the flipping uh, the river. That should, that should save me a minute, at least. Okay, I'm going to try and climb up out of this one, get extra speed. I do not want to miss this climb again. I don't know how to do it. Full engine. Presumably perfect mixture. Seems we're not that high. Oh, it's going to be so tight again. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. Come on, give me that speed boost. I need it right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, god damn it. Oh wow, that's so much better. That was hard. That really is hard. Okay, so for this next bit I'm gonna try and go through the very top of the green and try and maintain that. That way if I drop a little bit on the last one I should still hit the green. It's 105. It's gonna give it a little bit more engine. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good this time. Stick fully towards you. Right pedal fully pressed. Keep controls in this position. So intense was that, I've twisted the entire flipping uh, joystick. Right, now we can return to base. How long do we have? Just over five minutes. Oof. It's tough, this one. <laughs> Great job, Lieutenant. I think we did it that time. Third training mission successfully accomplished. Thank goodness for that. Oof. I love how well they captured the prop as well. Great job, John. Mission accomplished. Now we can go over to the new one. Got way to go. Way to go. Got what we do to no one. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And a lot of stress. And I learned a lot. It's good stuff. <laughs>